Breakfast Old Colombo Club Colombo Galley Boulevard Colombo Ceylon The facility looked like most other clean functionally designed structure of most UNE agencies The bustling cityscape where it is located looked equally functional and pristine The equatorial climate had not weathered the structure that lines the huge boulevard The massive buildings were glistening in the bright and blazing sun in Colombo. It belies the lively and colourful culture of this land at the bottom of the Indian subcontinent. Colombo had been the preferred assignment station for UNE personnel looking for a much more pleasant environment. It was logical as Ceylon was an island surrounded by the sea and several world-renowned beaches in its resume. The buzz of transport drones alighting from the multiple Hyperloop stations around the Colombo Galley Main Boulevard made for a retinue of activity typical for Colombo's main district. It was a hive of movement, well planned and coordinated. Nestled in between the large imposing UNE buildings lies a 19th century clubhouse built during the period of colonization by the European powers. Shaded by tall neighbors, the old Colombo Club was the go-to place for breakfast and brunch for senior UNE personnel and community players to escape from the oppressive heat. Their roti specialty was still handmade as cultural preservation is the club's main attraction. Enjoying the meal at the clubhouse becomes a social highlight for those that matter. Waiter, can I have another cup of tea, please? Right away, sir. The white uniform waiter with a clean hand towel draped over his left arm bows slowly and disappears into the clubhouse. The patio is shaded and surrounded by leafy palm fronds and low West African tall coconut trees. The old and large flame of the forest tree becomes the centerpiece of this well-manicured colonial garden. The patio was environmentally cool. It was maintained without any technological infusion and was filled with diners sitting in rattan chairs that surrounded low rattan coffee tables. The guests were simply enjoying the cool atmosphere of the clubhouse. The low murmur of conversations, broken by light, jovial laughter by those present, could be mistaken as decadent by the stiff upper lip of the UNE hierarchy. Excellent Ceylonese tea. I cannot get enough. Yes, it is, Adrian. Refreshing and light. Good starter for our discussion today. Aizat Atnan the consummate negotiator and well-known supplier for all things UNE and more, has been patiently waiting for the opportunity to present his wares to Azrin Zainal, the senior logistics coordinator for off-world operations. A mouthful, but most everybody refers to him as the quartermaster. Azrin was in no rush. Being seen in public with somebody like Aizat is treading on governance quicksand. Azrin was one who was particularly careful about being seen in public with UNE sanctioned suppliers, more so with someone like Isaac. Ah, the discussion. Well, it's not often we get to enjoy this cool breeze from the ocean and the shady patio of the club. Enjoy it, Isaac. Getting you in here has not been easy. Yes, yes, of course. I'm sure you had a terrible time getting me in. Do not be mistaken. I am honoured. 